Today we're gonna to be doing an overview of the RD hub mount ecosystem. We're gonna walk through the current lineup, the design intent behind it, and officially introduce the second generation of our plan B hub mounts, the hub B. This video is more about explaining the why behind these parts, how they're meant to be used, and how the system fits together as a whole. So first off, we're gonna talk about the hub B. The gen two of our plan B hub mounts are officially available. So the hub B is about 5% lighter than our original plan B mount while retaining the same exact exterior profile and internal dimensions. What that means is the overrun with different muzzle devices is unchanged and compatibility remains identical to the first generation. That was a deliberate decision based off the fact that over the last couple of years, we've built out a very large suppressor compatibility matrix on our website that involved gathering thousands of data points and frankly spending a lot of time and money acquiring different silencers so we could give customers accurate current fitment data. During development of these, we explored shortening the adapter and changing some other dimensions on it. And on paper and physically, it looked good, but once we ran the numbers and paired it with the RF Plan B muzzle devices, you can see some here, uh, we saw a significant drop across compatibility with different suppressors. So instead of chasing the length reductions that would ne negatively affect that fitment, we kept the same profile and focused on some internal design changes, uh, which you'll see here and that allowed us to reduce the weight without changing any of the system interface. The result is an overall slightly lighter mount with identical compatibility and the same thing that you guys are used to on our first gen of the hub plan B mounts. The hub B naming follows the RD hub nomenclature that we introduced with the hub DT line. As you can see here, these are direct thread mounts. That naming was intentional. It's also a precursor to additional systems that hopefully we'll be talking about in the next couple of months. So understanding the castle lock system. The hub B, along with all RD hub mounts, both our direct threads and the plan B mounts, use our castle lock system. The castle lock system is a patent pending interface that incorporates TDP spec castle nut notches and 1 and 5 16 cents wrench flats. The idea is simple and allows end users to install their hub mounts using common tools like standard armor's wrenches and torque the adapter properly into the silencer. The goal is to make a hub mounted suppressor behave as close to an integral system as possible. To understand why that exists, it helps to take a step back and talk about hub silencers in general. All of these here are hub compatible silencers. So hub silencers, what they are in general, are any silencer threaded with a 1.375 by 24 rear end, as you can see here. Uh, some of these don't have anything installed in them. These all have our hub B in them. There's some prototype ones and production ones here. Hub suppressors give end users a lot of flexibility due to that universal thread pitch that's been adopted by the industry. You can run anything from a direct thread to a low profile taper mount or a locking system depending on whatever your needs are. It also future proofs your suppressor as mounting systems evolve. The downside is that hub systems rely heavily on the end user for proper installation. Tightening something by hand might be fine for uh, casual use, you know, taking a, a wrench like this, adjustable wrench, cranking your adapter in, but the risk of failures with that uh, and backing off is simply just not worth it. Best case, suppressor loosens and you catch it before something bad happens. Worst case, you risk a baffle strike. And in even more extreme case, if you're running something like a dedicated suppressed rifle that needs a suppressor to run uh, because of the anemic gas port you're using, that in a serious situation is just simply unacceptable. That problem is what sent us back to the drawing board and ultimately led to the Castle X system. We wanted to see if we could create a way for uh, folks to have a easier method of installing stuff with common tools, just like these armors wrenches or any of our dedicated tools so they could get their suppressors acting as close to an integral system as possible with the easiest solution. So now we're gonna talk about the small design details. Uh, there are a lot of smaller quality of life features built into every RD hub mount. So the wrench flats are standardized across the board. The wrench flat sizing is the same. So you'll notice that the height below the flats may adjust depending on the system, but the flats themselves, the deck height uh, from the base of the flat up is always the same. Uh, that's important as we talk about some of our tools, but we also have a very small machine shoulder at the base 
face of the wrench slots themselves, and that will allow for proper wrench engagement. Additionally, there are chamfered edges on all of the surfaces of the adapters to reduce snag hazards. Uh, honorable mention, that was a design input from our friends at Ford Controls. Uh, none of these things are flashy, but they matter when you're installing and running the system long term. They just make things slightly easier, and again, they're just small use of life features. Now let's talk about direct thread. The Hub DT TI, we currently make our direct thread adapters in titanium. We're exploring offering a, a slightly more affordable, it will be slightly heavier 17.4 stainless version of these. But the Hub DT TI is currently available in half 28 and 5 8 24. Uh, and it's largely a departure from the traditional approach to direct thread adapters. A lot of folks look at direct thread adapters and say, how short can we make it? Can we make this um, as light as possible and as small as possible? But rather than focusing only on minimal length, uh, which we did make these as short as we can, we designed them to, again, utilize our castle lock system to focus on proper installation into both the suppressor and the rifle uh, using common tools. This gives you a much more secure and repeatable interface, and frankly, it solves a lot of issues that the direct thread adapters commonly face. When folks talk about their direct thread adapters backing off, most of the time it's because of improper installation and the lack of proper torque applied to the adapter on your rifle. Despite the added features and the different approach to it, the Grade 5 titanium construction aids in a very, very light profile. It adds just over a quarter of an inch to the rifle, and it's just over an ounce in weight, uh, and it gives you full access to the wrench flats. The Hub DT works perfectly on anything from your gas guns, your bolt guns, or lightweight hunting rifles. So now we're going to talk about the complete approach. This is something that you guys will see. It takes us some time to develop every single component as we are a small company and building out everything at once is just not feasible. But our philosophy has always been to offer a complete solution. Less guesswork, proper insulation, getting you to the range faster. So building off that, we're gonna talk about tools. We worked with our friends at Ford Controls Design who make some excellent tools, some of our favorites, to make some tools that are more oriented towards both the RF line muzzle devices that we did in collaboration with them, and also to work with our uh, Castle Lock equipped hub mounts. The first tool that we came out with was the DPW. This is largely based off two tools they already make, their joint Castle Nut wrench and their joint muzzle device wrench. On one side, you have a Castle Nut wrench that will interface with your standard castle nuts on your rifles, but also properly with castle lock equipped RD hub mounts, as you can see here. The other side is a suppressor mount muzzle device wrench. This is a low profile reinforced three quarters inch wrench, so that will work with any RF line muzzle devices. Uh, from us at Revival Defense and Forward Controls. The second tool is the JSW or Joint Suppressor Wrench, also developed with our friends at Forward Controls Design. This wrench really shines with our direct thread adapters, but also works with all RD cast lock equipped hub mounts. One side is a suppressor oriented three quarter inch wrench. The other is a dedicated low profile one and five sixteenths inch wrench. It was designed to be robust while staying low profile enough that it doesn't exceed the deck height on the adapters. As you can see here, the top of the adapter sticks out past it, and that's the same thing on our Plan B adapters. This allows for proper installation, even in tight spaces, like when you have a minimal gap between the shoulder of your barrel and your handguard. Just like this upper here, uh, this is a Sons of Liberty SPR barrel. I'm going to thread this direct thread adapter on there. Uh, and this is a 14.5 barrel with a 13.75 inch handguard. As you can see there, there's an extremely minimal gap and the JSW fits perfectly inside there with room to spare. So now I can properly install my direct thread adapter onto the barrel, get proper torque on it, or if you're using uh, any sort of mounting system that we offer that's castle lock equipped, you can utilize that wrench on there. All the RD hub mounts are available directly from us at Revival Defense and also through authorized RD dealers. As always, if you guys have any questions, reach out anytime and we appreciate you guys taking the time to watch.